Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about sedimentary rocks. We've talked about how rocks form and the rock cycle, but now we're going to look at specific rock types in this lecture and the next two. Sedimentary rocks can form from particles of rock, from the remains of plants and animals, or from newly formed mineral crystals that are transported by agents of erosion and then deposited in new locations on land or underwater. Clastic sedimentary rocks are formed from multiple mineral types and may have a variety of grain sizes like the one you see on the left hand side. Non-clastic sedimentary rocks are also called chemical sedimentary rocks and are formed from only one type of chemical composition. Most sedimentary rocks are composed of primarily the weathered remains of other rocks. Fragmental sed sedimentary rocks contain layers of particles or fragments formed from the breakdown of other rocks. Particles can be worn or rounded or pointed and angular. Particles within a rock can vary in size, but particles of one size, as in sand or clay, often predominate throughout the layers of the rock. Layering in sedimentary rocks is particularly helpful in distinguishing them from non-sedimentary rocks, which means that if you see layers, generally it's sedimentary. Unlike loose sediments, sedimentary rocks have been compressed by the pressure of overlying sediments and rocks and are often held together by a hard matrix of crystalline cement. With finer grain sediments such as clay and silt, compaction alone will hold the sedimentary particles together. Coarser or larger sediment particles are also compacted, but to form sedimentary rock they must be cemented together by minerals dissolved in water. Calcite, the mineral that makes up limestone, is a common rock-forming cement. Silica, a form of quartz, may also serve as a natural cement, especially under high pressures. Most sedimentary rocks are classified on the basis of their texture or the size of the grains of sediment that they contain. I'm going to go through a few examples. Shale is composed of clay particles that are so small that individual particles cannot be seen without uh, magnification. Sandstone grains are easily visible on the close inspection, and grains are easily visible um, because they also feel gritty to your fingers. Conglomerate is made of pebbles, cobbles, or boulders held together by a natural cement. Usually, again, back to that calcite. Organic sedimentary rocks are formed by the accumulation of plant or animal remains. For example, to form coal, plant remains from tropical swamps and marshes accumulate in layers. As these layers are compressed, volatile materials in the plants escape as gases dissolve in the groundwater. What remains is black carbon, sometimes full of plant impressions. Limestone is often created by the accumulation of seashells and other animal skeletons. Sometimes these animal remains are ground into fragments by wave action or by currents, and sometimes they remain whole, like you see in this picture. A third group of sedimentary rocks is the chemical evaporites and precipitates, which start out as minerals that are dissolved in water. Evaporites, like limestone and rock salt, are formed from minerals that were once dissolved in the water. During evaporation, the minerals crystallized. Evaporites are common in large inland lakes or seas, such as the Great Salt Lake in Utah and the Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan. Crystals can also precipitate out of solution without evaporation. Sometimes ions combine chemically to form insoluble compounds, which settle on the lake or seabed to form sedimentary rocks. Dolomite, which is calcium magnesium carbonate, forms in this way. Dolostone is a derivative of dolomite, and it forms from the crushed coral skeletons and shells of organisms that have been cemented. Although most sedimentary rocks are a mixture of different minerals and even different rocks, all chemical sedimentary rocks are monomineralic, which means they compose of only one mineral type. Limestone is a monomineralic rock composed primarily of calcite and can form in a variety of different ways. Coquina is an organic limestone made from cemented animal shells. By the way, it's incredibly sharp. 
Gypsum is a rock that is formed from only the gypsum mineral that has been crushed and compressed. Gypsum is the primary component of wallboard and or drywall used in housing construction. The presence of fossils, the remains of prehistoric life, is usually interpreted as evidence that a rock is of sedimentary origin. Sedimentary rocks originated as sediments on the Earth's surface, where most organisms live. When these organisms died, sediments would often cover their remains, which would later become part of the sedimentary rock. Fossils are rare in non-sedimentary rocks because of the remains of the organisms are usually too fragile to survive the extreme heat and pressure that form in non-sedimentary rocks. All right, so that's a brief overview of the sedimentary rocks. Your textbook has a great deal more information on them, and I highly recommend that you review that section of your textbook. If you have any questions, by all means, see me during office hours or send me an email, and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Have a great day.